Concussion is an important public health issue. We know that in contact collision sports, athletes are more at risk of developing a concussion. And it's not just college athletes, it's high school athletes, it's youth sport athletes, professional athletes. So the NCA has decided in conjunction with the Department of Defense to do the largest prospective clinical longitudinal study ever done in the history of concussion. And that's important because we need scientific answers that are gonna drive the way we address concussion from a public health point of view. We're carrying out two very important initiatives, two concussion initiatives. One is we're doing a study where we're looking in great detail at every single sport in the NCAA. And we're doing a baseline on concussion and then if someone has a concussion, they're restudied at six hours, at 48 hours, and so on, up to six months, and we're carrying the study out over three years. In just the first year, we analyzed over 15,000 student athletes, male and female, from every NCAA sport, and we tracked over 400 concussions. We will understand the neurobiology of concussion from this study in a way that no one has before. So that's one very important initiative. The other is that we put out something called a Mind Matters Challenge. We asked the 1,100 NCA member institutions to give us the most compelling educational program to change the culture of concussion based on what we know right now. And we put out a research challenge to develop a research paradigm that will demonstrate methodologically how we can change the culture of concussion for athletes, for coaches for physicians, for parents, for everyone. So both through the knowledge that we're obtaining through the study and the way we're going to affect culture, we really believe that we're at the cutting edge. We're really leading the way for trying to change how we manage and understand concussion. So the NCA put out concussion management and diagnosis guidelines. But importantly, they weren't just NCAA guidelines. They were called inter-association. We had 11 of the most prominent medical organizations in the country say unequivocally that based on everything we know right now, these guidelines are the best that we can do in managing and diagnosing concussion in college student athletes. So we really are on a pathway for legislation. It's happened. But I think most importantly, we're working with the medical organizations and we're really building bridges in an inner association manner.